What's up, YouTube? So we just pulled up at Fusion. Shit is insane. The line is crazy, but we're in here. It's gonna be a movie today, so definitely stay tuned because there's a lot more to come. so hard and not seeing the results is such a vibe killer but if you believe in yourself anything is possible so what I'm trying to say is keep working keep doing it eventually it's gonna pay off keep that in mind so I'm here with uh, Danny Jacob Danny Swole as Instagram or whatever fucking TikTok <laughs> Joe Schultz Josh from the Lost Breed Ryan what's your motivation my motivation, man, is just really inspiring other people, bro. Every time I get a message saying that somebody, you know, I changed their life or I helped them, help motivate them to chase their dream or to work out or whatever the case may be, bro, that shit gives me the fuel to keep going. My motivation, honestly, is just to be a better version of myself every week, honestly. A lot of people fixate themselves on their idols and other people around them. I just kind of look at myself and I, I'm really hard on myself, but I feel like that makes me better and it makes me want to work harder because I don't want to be the same person I was last week. Not just like physically, but mentally, spiritually, you know? And that just goes outside the gym. A lot of people are so fixated on their uh, exterior shell. And I always preach about mental health and happiness on the inside. So if I can be better overall each and every week, that's what pushes me each and every time. It's just, it's just to be a better self, better person than I was yesterday, the month before, the year before. You know, I'm a big guy on like resiliency and growth. Like, you're never gonna be better than the person next to you or the guy over there in, in any caliber. But if you're better than who you were, in the past, that's all that should matter. It's your personal story, it's your personal page, all of that stuff. So just keep grinding and don't don't fall for these like little mistakes. Just just work hard. My motivation in life. I mean, I've been trying to figure it out for a while, but at the moment, like doing social media and everything, at first, to be honest, like it started as just someone that wanted to get a brand sponsor, wanted to get free supplements, free clothing. But I think now, um, you know, without even attending, you know, when people DM me saying I've impacted their life in some sort of way. I think that's the most fulfilling thing on the planet. I think that the old me, when I was when I was in high school, when I wasn't, and I had a rough time, and I was going through something. I wish I had a role model for me out there, and the fact that I could serve as one to others, it's just, it's just, it's just awesome. What piece of advice would you give to a new lifter? A new lifter, I would say, just take your time, bro. Build that foundation, one brick at a time, bro. One day at a time. I know it sounds easy, but all you got to do, don't focus on the overall goal. The more you focus on the overall goal, you're gonna lose out. You're gonna get distracted. Just focus on what you got to do. Don't worry about nobody else. Just only worry about yourself, bro. Only worry about yourself. Don't be worried about what everybody else doing online. This dude. Benson 315, this dude got a new PR, fuck that bro. This is your process, your journey, your marathon. New lifter, new influencer, you just started your own social media account, like, just work. Just put in the effort, post that photo, post that video, you know, talk about your story. It doesn't matter if you're the skinniest person in the gym, every single person here right now is either at day one of their story or they're at chapter 10. And I know I put this in the Instagram caption, but it's not just flashy for social media, it's, it's real life. You can't be comparing yourself to somebody over there who's in their 30s, has been developing their social media account for 10 years. Start day one, post that piece of content, don't give a shit about what people say. Like, Instagram has a really cool thing. Like, I know how much we like to see how many likes we get, how many views we get, but if you're a new creator, just hide that shit. Just post content. The views, the likes will come, the years of experience, the networking that you make with these big time athletes and big time creators. All that shit will come. It's just put in the work, start. And then what you're posting now at day one is gonna be the before photo of your transformation. The mo three most important things in my opinion are diet, recovery, and intensity, well, training. So everything's on YouTube. You have the internet, you have unlimited access. So just, just do your research, man. Learn how to hit exercises from there. Learn, learn your sets, rep ranges, and just trial and error. Um, don't be discouraged just because of people that are bigger than you. 
and always know that there's someone that knows more information about whatever you're doing more than you. Because a lot of people come in here with their mindset because they TikTok, Instagram, that they know everything, or they know how to do a correct machine properly. So just be open-minded, um, be kind to people, and when you're doing and as you're growing and getting better, motivate people around you because you never know who's watching you do something in a gym. Whether it's a kid that's smaller than you or bigger than you, you can motivate them. So I guess just go in the mindset of trying to be the best version of yourself in the gym um, and always focus on the person in the mirror. Don't look around. A lot of people go to the gym, they're fixing everyone around them. Just kind of focus on yourself. I think that's like the biggest thing, that's the biggest fault a lot of people have. They're so worried about their self-image that they get down on themselves. No, this was insane. They shut it down. The line was across the building. It went all the way down. It filled up the whole parking lot. It was insane. One of the biggest gyms in the US. Today was the grand opening day, but it was definitely one of a ride. We got in there early, 9.30. Shout out to my boy for letting us in. We had some dope, dope, dope conversations. We met great people, as always. If you guys like this content, please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And one more thing, stay fearless, baby. Thank you.